boys, shot. stand back and stand by. Meanwhile, the leader of the Proud Boys hate group, Enrique Torrio, was arrested Monday on misdemeanor property destruction charges after he publicly admitted to tearing a Black Lives Matter banner off a historically black church in Washington, D.C., and setting it on fire last month. Police say Torrio had illegal high-capacity magazines of ammunition on him when he was arrested. Let's have trial by combat. Mayhem in the U.S. Capitol on Wednesday as swarms of protesters supporting outgoing President Donald Trump stormed the building in an attempt to force Congress to undo Trump's election loss. Police drew guns and fired tear gas after pro-Trump protesters marched through the halls of Congress. The best is yet to come. One of the rioters at last week's riot on Capitol Hill was a white, racist, neo-fascist leader of the Proud Boys of Hawaii, none other than Nick Och. The FBI arrested Nick Ox at the Honolulu airport Thursday evening when he got back from Washington, D.C. Among the throngs of people who flooded the Capitol Wednesday was Proud Boys Hawaii founder Nick Ox, according to his own Twitter photo, where he posted, Hello from the Capitol, LOL. In a criminal complaint and warrant for Ox's arrest, a federal agent cited the Twitter post, other images of Ox seen on national television, and Ox's own interview with CNN talking about being in the Capitol. Ox founded the Hawaii chapter of Proud Boys, which the FBI says has been, quote, calling for action over false claims that President Trump lost the election due to widespread voter fraud. Now, you know me. I normally don't talk about romantic relationships on this channel. But I feel I've been forced to address this issue. Because we have a growing number of neo-Nazi, right-wing, racist white men hooking up with sisters, or what people call black women. And I, I think I have to discuss it now. I mean, it's got... It's, it's become an issue. And here's the thing. It's been going on for a very, very long time. So let's get into it. We can go back to the period of our enslavement, when we were on death camps, or what they call plantations, what the, what the criminal nations call plantations. We had enslaved women willingly having sex and relationships with their overseer or their death camp owner. At the same time, you had enslaved African men and women being murdered, being tortured, being raped, and being whipped. You had a group of women who were servicing these, these white, racist, Ku Klux Klan men. Let's get, let's get real. This was, what, this, was what, this was what was going on. All over, not just in America, all over what they call the New World. Wherever there were death camps, women were doing this. These hardcore racists seek out black women. And the emphasis is on black or dark women or dark skinned women. They seek them out like seeking out a prize racehorse or a prize award-winning dog so they can they can show them off to their fellow racists see what i've got just imagine nick Och at a proud boys meeting where where these neo-nazis and these fascists are taking out their their phones and showing the women that they've conquered. And he's showing an image of his dark-skinned wife. Look, look what I got, look who I mounted. And the, boot, and the guy's going, yeah, yeah, stick it to them. This is what they're doing. 
uh, I can't understand why sisters don't see, don't see that. This, this shit is so, it's, it's so effed up. Now, if you think this is sick, you need to ask yourself, where did the sister develop this mindset to say that her self-esteem was so low, her confidence was so shattered that she needed to date, marry, and then breed herself to a, a white racist neo-Nazi. I mean, how do you get to that point? Okay, I'm not gonna name and shame the sisters all over social media, on, on YouTube, trying to make excuses for what these sisters done by marrying one of the leading lights in the Proud Boys hardcore racist organization. I'm not going to out those sisters, but I am going to mention Issa Rae. Issa Rae, who wrote in a book a few years ago that sisters need to educate sisters' mind. Not, not the ones that live in the hood, but educated sisters need to disin, uh, disinfest in, in, in the black community and start dating Asian men because if you look at Asian men, South Asian, uh, men from Vietnam, uh, from, from, from South Korea, Chinese men, if you date those men, that you might be better off. <laughs> Never mind the racism in Asia. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. Like I said, this is not a new phenomenon. This has been going on a very long time. But in terms of the modern era, you have to look at the FBI's COINTELPRO. They put a lot of money into groups that could help undermine the black power message. And they targeted, they targeted the sisters through white feminism, then helped to project black feminism. So by the time you got to the 1980s with leading scholars like Bell Hooks, they were advocating that sisters need to do for themselves without men. So by the time we get to the 90s now, you have a whole generation of sisters that have degrees, they have masters, they have PhDs, they have good jobs, but they don't have um, the equivalent male in their community. So people were advocating, date out of the community, date white, date Asian, date each other, rise of black feminism, black lesbianism. These are all uh, movements that were being pushed. So now in, the, in, in this century, in the 21st century, you have um, social media influencers, you have YouTubers arguing that women need to divest from the black community and look out for number one. That's their biggest message. Self-love, do for self. You don't have to date below your standards. You need to look for a high-valued man. You don't need to devote to date down. You don't need to date down a low-valued man. These are all the messages that are being pumped out on a daily basis as the images of Nick Uch and his wife and baby are being circulated on social media, uh, uh, on YouTube now. You have sisters coming out and saying that it's the fault of the brothers why she's married uh, and breeding herself to this neo-Nazi. They are claiming that it's the brothers that, that were so toxic that drove this, this woman, this well-educated sister, into the arms of a neo-Nazi. I'm not joking. This is what they're saying. 
in the next few days you're going to have lots of videos coming out claiming that this is the woman's choice and we need to respect her choice we need to honor her choice these are the words that i'm seeing these are the words that i'm hearing already on social media that we should respect the fact that she's <laughs> that she's married a neo-nazi a hardcore racist I mean, really, you can't make this shit up. He was like this nerdy, you know, weird guy. And I just like guys like that. But on second thoughts, let's go around this a little bit more. You have an active neo-Nazi, hardcore racist going around causing mayhem particularly within our communities, right? That's what they're doing. And many of them will say, I can't be racist as he lands a blow in your face or in, a, in your relative's face or in a sister's, in a sister's face that, she's not, that he's not married to, that he puts a blow into her face and he will say, well, I'm not racist. I'm married to a black woman at home. Do you see? This is their get out of jail card. This is their Trump card. You see, if they argue, if they demonstrate against immigration and people then fight back against them, they'll say, well, I'm not racist. I've got, I'm married to a black woman. I've got mixed race kids. How can I be racist? Do you see? So, on a whole range of issues, take reparations. These white racist Nazis can come on the media and say, I'm against reparations. And he'll say, I'm against reparations and so is my wife. And my wife is black. And we're against reparations because it's divisive. Divisive. So, who this sister and sisters like her, who they sleep with, has a direct impact on our lives. So yes, we should have a say, and yes, we should be able to critique what they've done, and we should be able to call it out. We should be, because it has a direct impact on our lives. People can get killed as a result of this. Now, if you don't believe me, Here's a clip of a sister being beaten, her hair ripped off, being pepper sprayed, and she feared for her life she was going to be killed by a Trump mob. The same mob that this guy, Nick Och, was involved with. It's the same fascist, racist group that are going around America, right? And this sister was going to be killed by them. And if it was him doing the punching, he could, be in, he could stand up in court and say, look, I disagreed with her politically, but I did not disagree with her because of her race. No. Why? Because, judge, my wife's black. Do you see? These photos widely shared on social media show protesters outside of L.A. City Hall surrounding 25-year-old Berlinda. One image shows someone pulling her hair. Others show a man bear-hugging her while she's getting pepper sprayed at close range. We need professional dating coaches. We need a network of men and women who can link up other men and women who are wanting to get married or wanting to settle down and there should be a register that we can connect uh, each other. We should have uh, marriage counselling within our communities. We should have pre-marriage counselling so people uh, open their eyes to what is expected in a marriage. We need to do that type of work. We shouldn't just say, oh, I hate all black women or I hate all black men. I mean, what's... What is that nonsense? 
いいけ<笑> Thank you for watching another video from Warrior for Power. If you are a brother and if you are fed up with the status quo, with things not changing, then it's your responsibility to become a member of Warrior for Power. Our aim is to help you establish a seven figure business in your community, which will give you a six figure salary. There is a catch, and the catch is if we help you, we want one third of your profits to go back to our communities on a permanent basis. Now, if that's for you, then become a member. Become a member of Patreon. If you're living in Africa or the Caribbean, it's just $2, two US dollars per month. If you're living in, in the West, in the industrialized societies or in the white societies, then it's $6 per month. And for that, you will be trained and supported I'm given all the advice and information to run a successful seven figure business. Now, if that's for you, get involved. So, by the end of January 2021, I'll be updating the Patreon site. So, become an early member. Okay, that's it. I'm done. I'm out of here.